Hello everybody and welcome to Robert's Reviews. If you are new here, welcome. If you're old and you've subscribed already, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I have videos coming out every single day of every single week. If you guys like talking about movies and television and that kind of thing and all things media, we do it here. Um, and we are almost done actually with our Quentin Tarantino series. We have, what is it, two more videos in this series coming out. We have Inglorious Bastards next week and then I'm taking two weeks off on Thursday to do other movies and then on the first week of September I'm doing The Hateful Eight and that'll be everything because I've already I've already uh, done the rest of them in other previous series so we only have two more videos for Quentin Tarantino and we have watched every single Quentin Tarantino movie ever made finally but today we're gonna be talking about Death Proof <laughs> Death Proof was released in 2007, and it was written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. No spoilers, but essentially the idea about this is Kurt Russell plays stuntman Mike, who is in a car that is death proof if he's in his driver's seat, because uh, it's a stunt car, so basically it's super safe. And he goes around harassing girls in cars by crashing their cars and making them die in horrific ways. That's no joke. That's the entire film. And I should preface this by saying it is part of the Groundhouse, uh, I think it's called Grindhouse? I think it's Grindhouse uh, production, which is this double feature that Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez planned, where they both made videos that are kind of, you know, gross and horror thriller-ish, and then they provided it to theaters as a double feature, showing two movies at once from two famous directors, which is a cool idea because it probably made a bunch of money, but also, why? <laughs> I don't get it. Um, especially considering this movie wasn't very good, um, I think some people would get a lot of joy out of it. There's a lot of blood, a lot of really great blood sequences, but for the most part, it's really chill. Um, and it's entertaining. For, for what it's worth, it is worth its value in just entertainment. You know, it's chill. The issue that I have with it is it is so dry. It is boring, boring dialogue that no one cares about. And all of a sudden it's like, ooh, action! Boring, 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 boring. Kind of care about it, actually, because some of the characters are really cool in the second half. Um, and then action, and it's, it's cool. And the ending is incredibly anticlimactic, and I hated the ending. I get it. I get why it happened, but I hated it. Um, the quality of the film on purpose was made gross. I think they probably... My guess is they probably purposefully ruined the actual film stock of it before sending it out to films. Um, it looks awful. I don't really get why they had to do that. I guess it was maybe to look, make it look older and more gross with the tune of it being a grindhouse feature, but I don't get it. It doesn't fit very well with the idea of the weird person running cars in other cars. I don't get it. Let's talk about some of the acting. First, I want to do some honorable mentions. I think a lot of the actors are great here. I'm not going to talk about all of them because I don't have a whole lot of time, um, and because, quite frankly, they're kind of minor characters. But, I mean, Rosario Dawson's in here, and she was great, um, but she plays a minor character. Everyone's a minor character. There are only two parts of this film. There's a beginning, there's an end, and they're very different. The beginning part, the first half, is one section of females. The second half is another section of females that get terrorized by Kurt Russell. So let's talk about Kurt Russell, who plays Stuntman Mike. He has so much fun in this film, it's almost scary. Um, he just seems like he's having a great time ramming cars into females. Um, I don't get why. Um, and Zoe Bell, I think her name is Zoe Bell, she plays she does all of her own stunts, and she's like hanging from this car like crazy. It's impressive. I think the stunts are, are great. I don't know if Kurt Russell did his own driving. I assume he did some of his own driving, but not all of it. Um, but I think Kurt Russell is fantastic. I think it was great to watch. Really, really fun. But the appeal of this film is, of course, crashing the cars into each other as they're driving down the road and like having a whole lot of fun with that. And I think that the, the stunts are wildly impressive. Incredibly impressive. I'm very, very happy with how they look. They look great. I'm very happy about it. I don't like the film, like, idea of, of it looking grimy and gross. I don't get the point of that. It's never a good idea to do that, in my opinion. I just don't get it. I don't get why people do that. I don't. Um, especially in a film like this, where, like, it doesn't really matter at all why you do it. So, I don't really get it. Whatever. Not my problem. <laughs> um, but I think, overall, it's just kind of fine. It's mediocre. It's something you would expect from a Tarantino film. And they have, of course, the Tarantino marks where we have, you know, the long shot, where it's just super long. We have the feet. There's plenty of bare feet from females, if you're interested in that. Um, they have a one trunk shot. But for the most part, it doesn't feel like a Tarantino film. There's a lot of dialogue that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. That's a lot of a Tarantino thing. But for the most part, it's just a kind of a weird 
car crashing movie that doesn't really make any sense and there's no backstory for the villain which I hate as you guys know if you subscribe I hate villains who don't have backstory and have no reason to be bad that's like the worst thing to do for a film in my opinion and they did that here and it just it did not work for me I'm gonna have to go ahead and give death proof a C minus definitely not my favorite Quentin Tarantino film not my least favorite I think I think there's still a couple that I think are worse but if you guys are interested in watching this I watched it on voodoo for free with ads which the ads were awful but if you're interested in watching it, it is free there or you can rent it on YouTube or any other streaming service so if you're interested in that make sure you guys are checking it out um, subscribe if you're interested in, in finishing out the series with me I have videos every single day every single day and if I'm not already at 150 subscribers make sure you're subscribing because once I hit 150 I'm dressing up like spider-man and I'm going to Walmart so if you want to see that make sure you guys are subscribing I know you want to see it you want to see it subscribe what are you waiting for hit the red button hit it hit it now sorry I didn't mean to go all Owen Wilson on you <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for watching and as always keep watching movies and television stay educated and I'll see you guys in the next video